So firstly, let me make one thing clear. By bodybuilding, I don't mean this. I don't mean big bulky muscles. All I mean is building lean muscle mass, which is important for every single human being. So even if you're a girl, you can keep watching. So firstly, let me start off by saying that if you're trying to build lean muscle mass, you can only do so in the long term. By long term, I don't mean one or two years, I mean the rest of your life. For your entire life, you should be working out a bit and supplementing that workout with clean, healthy food that's high in protein. You need protein to build lean muscle mass, but unfortunately, protein is an expensive thing to buy. But if you know a few hacks, you can actually work your way into building some solid lean muscle mass and put on strength with minimal spending of money. So here's my top five India-specific tips to help you build some lean muscle on things that are available easily in India. But before we move on to the tips, for this particular video, you need to understand the budget rating system. So I've taken an egg, the most common widespread form of protein consumption in India at least. So an egg is basically say around five rupees and you're getting about six and a half grams of protein from one whole egg with the yolk. So 6.5 grams per five rupees is around 1.3 grams per rupee. So those 1.3 grams per rupee will be our gold standard when it comes to comparing other protein sources in India. The higher the rating, the better the protein source. So let's start with tip number one. Embrace vegetarian options. Every single Indian house has a huge number of vegetarian protein sources that some of us are not even aware about. Did you guys know that rava or even wheat actually has a really high protein content? Wheat has about 14 grams per 100 and rava has about 12 grams per 100, both of which are relatively high for a vegetarian source and both of which are available in every single Indian house. But most importantly, because these are vegetarian protein sources, our parents won't have an issue with that. The protein budget rating for Rava is about 13 grams for every 6.2 rupees. That means an overall rating of 2.1 grams per rupee. And wheat, it's actually got a rating of around 2.7 grams per rupee. So embrace all those rotis, embrace all that Rava, but keep in mind that these are also carb sources. They're really clean carbs at that, but they're still carb sources. So you'll be getting a normal standard protein from your sources like meat, eggs, paneer and things like that. And then you can get some protein through your carbs, your wheat and your rava. Also, if you're a vegetarian, go check out my videos on vegetarian bodybuilding. It'll help you understand the whole dietary process much better. Next point, soya chunks. Now, 100 grams of soya chunks have about 52 grams of protein. That's super high for any kind of protein source. And what's even better about soya is that it's really, really cheap. One entire packet of soya chunks, about 200 grams, comes for around 40 rupees. So you're getting about 52 grams of protein per 20 rupees. So that gives it an overall budget protein rating of 2.6. Super high. The next point, and this one is my favorite, eggs. Eggs are your best friend and your wallet's best friend if you're trying to build lean muscle mass. One egg with the yolk gives you about six and a half grams of protein. That is a lot of protein for the five rupees that you're paying for an egg. My personal suggestion to all lifters especially is that egg yolks should definitely be a part of your diet. They're giving you a lot of nutrition. They're giving you good cholesterol, calcium, vitamin B12 and a ton of other things. But what makes it even worse if you throw away egg yolks is that the protein rating becomes half. It becomes around 0.65 grams per rupee, which is really low. Coming to the next point, cheap fish. Now, if you go to any fish market in India, there's a bunch of fish that are actually really expensive. You know, the ones you eat at restaurants, like in Bombay, there's ravas, pomfret, surmai. But along with these prime fish at fish markets, you get a bunch of cheaper fish. My personal favorite is something called lady fish that you get in Bombay. It's kind of like a baby rawas. It has a lot of flesh on it, very little bone, and it's super cheap. I get six or seven of those for about 50 bucks. Now it's hard to do the protein budget calculation for cheap fish like that because the prices vary a lot, but it'll be somewhere close to eggs. So add 1.3 grams per rupee, which is again, really cheap. Definitely go check out fish markets if you're trying to build muscle on a budget. Coming to the final point for today's budget bodybuilding video, simple whey proteins. I've made an entire video on why scientifically whey proteins are awesome for you if you're trying to build lean muscle mass. So go check that out first. 
but almost every single day on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook, I get asked by someone, what kind of protein shake do I recommend? And I always said the same thing. I recommend a simple whey protein shake. You can't expect to put on muscle with protein supplements for three months and then stop the protein supplements and expect that muscle to remain the way it was. If you want to put on lean muscle mass over the long term, you need to be using protein shakes over the long term. That's why it's very important that the protein shake you select is budget friendly. So I've been lifting for about four years. The only kind of protein I ever used was a simple whey protein. I bulked up and I cut down with a simple whey protein. I've never used isopure. I've never used those stupid mass gainers, which are super popular among skinny guys. I've never used any of that fancy stuff. I've always just used simple whey proteins, which are very cheap and very effective for building lean muscle mass. That's what I'd recommend to all lifters. You just follow these hacks and I promise you, you'll build lean muscle and save a lot of money along the way. Learn it from someone who's half Gujarati and has gone through the whole process.